Hi, Jim Laird here for JM Strength and Conditioning and for Performance and Health Collide. Uh, sorry it's been forever since my last uh, blog post, but I've been busy getting the gym moved. Um, pretty, uh, pretty excited about it. I had to turn the lights off. The, uh, this is an old furniture store, and they've got these spotlights, and we're not going to be able to change them for a while, so it kind of looks a little weird. So I turned the lights off in the background. Hopefully it works a little bit better. But uh, got a good question today. But before we get to that, if you're thinking of opening your own facility, uh, make sure you're prepared to be able to work because unless you've got a lot of money to be able to pay people to do everything for you, um, you're going to be doing everything from, you know, what I'm doing tonight, like hanging stuff up on the walls, you know, moving the carpet that we had, rolling that stuff out, you know, cleaning up the place, you know, city regulation, fire code, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a lot of work and, and, you know, I'd just like to take the time to thank all of our clients that, uh, and all my clients that came out here and, and, and helped clean and, and, and get this place set up and move everything over from the other place. So if it wasn't for them, we, we definitely wouldn't have this thing rolling. So, but if you're, you know, everybody dreams about owning their own facility and it's, it's great, but it's a lot of work and, uh, you better be prepared to work, um, if you want to do that. So. That being said, um, I got a question from Steve uh, via Facebook, and uh, Steve was uh, checking out our, our five ladies that did the powerlifting meet, and I'm going to be updating uh, once I have some time and get the videos off our video camera uh, of all their lifts, and, and I'm going to do a post on everything that we did up to the meet to get them prepared for the first meet. But Steve was asking if I recruit ladies to powerlift, and honestly, in the last, I've been training people since 1997, and I've only had one woman approach me um, specifically with the goal of getting ready for a powerlifting meet. Her name was Michelle Young, and she was getting ready for the World Police Games, and she ended up winning the gold medal uh, in weightlifting and in marathon running and in obstacle course. I mean, she, this woman is a is a is an anomaly. I helped her get ready for the powerlifting portion of it, and uh, she did phenomenal. Um, and that's the only woman that ever really that's ever approached me. So, you know, most of the women that come to me, uh, 90% of my clientele are women. If I take out my professional athletes, just about all my clientele are women. And most of them come to me because they want to look good and feel good and look better. Um, they're frustrated. Um, and we introduce all of our ladies to strength training, but we do it in a systematic way. We start with body weight. We start with teaching them how to brace their middle so they can get stability from their trunk and not from their spine by, you know, hard arch because, you know, people just don't want to be in pain. So we teach them how to, you know, get their hips moving right and their scapula to work right. And we start with body weight, and once they see the, the results of that, pushing the prowl or dragging the sled, once they see the results of that, they're like, oh, this ain't so bad. And then we introduce them to kettlebell deadlifts and goblet squats, and then once they get results from that, they're like, oh, and then we progress them to the barbell and – it just happens naturally, and these ladies have been training with me for about a year, and a couple months ago I said, hey, there just happens to be a powerlifting meet because a lot of them had really enjoyed squatting and deadlifting, and uh, a couple of them are really good at it, and it was about probably maybe about 16 weeks out. I said, hey, what, you know, you guys think about this, and they're like, oh, yeah, that might be kind of fun, and so about eight weeks out we started getting real serious. You know, Most of them had done one semi-private training uh, session a week and a couple classes a week. So they already had the movement patterns down, and then we used Windler's 531. And I'll get into a blog post about exactly what I did uh, to set that up and how I changed things. Um, but if I would have, when these when women come into our gym, I said, hey, we're going to turn you into a power lifter, most of them wouldn't even train with us. We wouldn't have any clients. Every one of our female clients lifts in some manner, whether it's a kettlebell deadlift, a pin pull. Uh, they all lift to their ability because every female needs to get stronger, needs to build muscle, um, the, what it does to their body as far as aesthetically, not only that, but for their health, for osteoporosis. Um, it also allows them to eat more food because when you damage muscle tissue, your body has to repair that. And so, you know, the ladies were shocked, the ones that got ready for the meet, how much they could eat when they were training hard. And, you know, if you want to get women to really enjoy lifting weights, you have to underlift them. You have to make sure that they get prepared and they learn how to strain in time. Now, it's different if you got women that are really hardcore and they want to jump into things really quickly. I don't see that very often. Um, even the ones that do, if they do come to me, the few over the years that were really hardcore, I usually had to back them up and teach them how to do the movements properly and make them more efficient and then 
uh, push them a little bit. So, um, no, I don't recruit women to do powerlifting meets. But what I do is I teach the fundamentals, I teach the basics, and then women just start lifting weight, like lifting weights. They really enjoy what it does to their body. They enjoy what it does to their confidence, and they enjoy what it, it allows them to have to eat more. And most people like to eat, including myself. So that's basically uh, it in a nutshell is start slow. Um, every person that you train should be doing some form of strength training in some form or another, no matter regardless of their goal. Um, Straight training can help with fat loss. It can help with just every normal day of life, and it, and it helps with performance. So it should be the cornerstone of any program that you do. Um, unfortunately, with the current trends in fitness today, Metcons or metabolic conditioning is all the rave because that's it's easy to yell at somebody. It's easy to pair a whole bunch of exercises together and just have them do them and wear them out. But strength training actually takes thought. It takes coaching. It takes adjustments. It takes progression. It takes regression. All these things take time to learn how to do and it takes thought whereas you can just line 40 people up and have them do mountain climbers burpees jumping jacks run around a circle run 400 meters wear them out and call it a training program but that's only going to work for so long whereas properly designed strength program with a little bit of conditioning here and there you're going to get results that last uh, years and years and years and you're going to lay a foundation for more advanced forms of training and you'll be able to cycle that in and out of their training as a, a appropriate so thanks for the question and uh I look forward to doing more updates for you guys, um, and obviously I'm looking forward to uh, working in here a lot more, so have a good day.